Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series on the channel called Quick Fire Top 5s. Or you can call it 5 minute top 5s, doesn't matter too much, but I hope you enjoy the series. So basically this is a top 5 series but it's got a little bit of a twist. Um, so each segment or section or whatever you want to call it, so like a number, um, I can only do that in one minute, so for example this intro I can only do in one minute, so if you look down at the time, it should be about six minutes long, it should be almost exactly six minutes long, but I don't know, it might be a bit broken, <laughs> but um, it's it's about six minutes because I've got one minute to describe the intro to you, and I've got five top fives, yeah, <laughs> you know how it works. Okay, so um, yeah, this is basically top five Roblox games, it's just my opinion, um, this is was a very hard decision but um yeah this is also on the only on the xbox so see ya <laughs> all right okay so this is at number five we have got speed run four this game is like very fun i'm gonna say that for pretty much everyone but um yeah this is a very fun game very good um i don't know good difficulty i think if you're willing for a challenge go for that as you can see it in the clip here I just died so it's not very hard the first level but I'm just showing off the first level here but um yeah it's not too difficult not too hard once you get to the later stages stages though um it does get a little bit more difficult um but I love the level design it's got great level design um yeah there's not not much really to say but um yeah it's just a very good game very well built um so yeah, I think that'll be it for number five. Now on to numero cuatro, or if number four, if you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> okay, so number four, we have Natural Disaster Survival. Um, a big favourite from back in the day from me when I started playing. I don't remember if I did actually play this in 2008 or whenever I joined, but um, yeah, it's, it's a really good game now. Um, you can buy a balloon and apple stuff. Um, so yeah, I assume a lot of you have played this because it's one of the most popular games on the site. But if you haven't, basically it's just like a little world you have to be in and then um, you have to survive disasters. So I believe in this clip it is going to be a thunderstorm if I'm right. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, the, the balloon and the apple can help you um, like get away from the disaster. <laughs> So there's like many different disasters, there's like f uh, flash floods, thunderstorms as you're seeing here. Uh, I think there's a meteor shower as well. So um, yeah, that'll do it for number four. On to number tres, or three. <laughs> okay, so number three we've got Dodgeball by Alex Neutron, or also the creator of Meep City. A lot of you probably know Meep City, it's been in the top charts recently. Um, Dodgeball was, I believe, his first hit, I'm not sure. But yeah, they, he's improved it a lot, really. Um, it's a very good game. Uh, <laughs> dodgeball. Dodgeball. I, I assume most of you know what Dodgeball are. I don't know if it's just an exclusive thing to the UK. It's not, is it? No, it's played everywhere, isn't it? I'm just terrible with research. I should probably research my things before doing this. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Dodgeball. Really fun game. Um, made by Alex Neutron. Uh, I also suggest... I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox, but I suggest you go and play Wheel of Fortune by him as well. It's quite fun. It's a little bit broken, but um, yeah, this game's very fun, very competitive, good. Now on to Numero uh, Dos. I nearly messed that up. Or two. <laughs> okay, so we've got number two here. Tiny Tanks. Very, very good game. Was definitely my favourite when the uh, Xbox version first came out. Because when it first came out, back in like, was it 2015? Um, or something like that, maybe 2014, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, there was a very limited selection of games and this was definitely the best one. So yeah, it's still one of my favourites on the Xbox version. Um, although this this may look a bit boring, but once you get into it, you start getting really competitive. Maybe get your friends into it. Um, it's just a really, really good fun game. Um, I believe you can play this on the PC as well, maybe mobile, I think. I think that was in the uh, description, but uh, yeah, it's a very, very fun game. I think very underrated as well, I think it should be in the front page. But um, yeah, that'll do it for number two, and now on to number uno, or one. I'm not going to speak Spanish for the next one, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> 
Okay, so number five. No, not number five. Number one. Yes, we've got um, Dragon Riders. Um, I, I was not sure which one to put at number one, but overall I decided to put Dragon Riders at number one. Because I just think it's, like, I know it's a rip-off, but t technically Tiny Tank was as well because of the uh, Wii Tank, whatever it was. Wii Play, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I think this just has so many features, and it seems to have been, in, like, updated since I last played, because it shows the coins at the top. I just died, whoops. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's been, I think it's updated quite frequently, which is very good for a game. Um, so, yeah, that, I believe that will be the end. Um, so, yeah, look, I don't know what that star did, it was Dragon Power. Woo! Okay, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so, on the right, go and subscribe. On the left will be a video. Thank you all for watching, and see ya!